Our next speaker is a professor, a designer, an international speaker, a safety expert, and a global transportation consultant. He's also one of my favorite full-time contrarian economists. He specializes in challenging the dominant view on just about anything and puncturing conventional notions of wisdom. And you'll know what I'm talking about in just a few minutes. Dr. Dinesh Mohan, can we have you on stage? It's a privilege to be in the presence of people who are being recognized for being innovators. If you want innovation in this country, number one condition, and this is true of every single country in the world which has succeeded in technological and scientific innovation, that all education must be free. As long as you have to pay fees to go to school, it is not possible to encourage the best brains in this country. It is impossible. I can give it in writing. It will never happen. The most capitalist country in the world called the United States of America, 94% of the children go to a free school. Because unless the poor, intelligent among the poor can go to school free, where they have books free and they have food free, you cannot select those intelligent people to become innovators. I know as a teacher in IIT that most of our children do not want to do engineering. Most of our children do not want to do science. Who wants to do a master's in India? A lower middle class person. Who wants to do a PhD? A lower middle class, middle class person. They want permanent jobs. They don't want temporary jobs where the boss and a private company can throw, throw, the, throw them out at any time. So we need more public sector for science and technology. We need free schooling. We need free PhD, free masters. Unless you are willing to support failure, because out of five people we select today, or one person, the winners, there are about five million who have failed. So unless you are tolerant of failure, you cannot get success. Thank you very much. I'm going to invite the jury to take their seats. May I please invite Mr. J. S. Chin, President and CEO of Samsung Southwest Asia, to take his place at the jury table. May I also invite Senthil Chengalvarayan, President Editorial Director of TV18 Business Media. May I invite the pioneer of India's BPO industry, Chairman and Managing Director, Quattro BPO Solutions, Mr. Raman Roy. Next, may I invite co-founder of India's first angel investment group, Mumbai Angels, managing partner at K Capital, Mr. Sasha Mirchandani. Sasha, can we have you on at the jury table? And finally, to add a spot of youth to the jury table, we have serial entrepreneur and CEO of Games to Win, Alok Kejriwal. Can we have you on the table? Okay, it's now time to take a look at the first innovation of this evening. Most farmers across rural India today need to irrigate their lands employing the manual water pumps that are usually located in remote areas of the field. The current system leaves the farmer with no choice but to travel miles afoot to the field to operate the pumps. Given the erratic power supply to the villages, these trips are often undertaken at the wee hours of the day or night. Entrepreneur Vijay Bhaskar Reddy created Kisan Raja, a GSM-based controller that allows the farmer to control the motor using his mobile or landline. I'd now like to invite on stage our first innovator for the evening, Mr. Vijay Bhaskar Reddy. Right, Vijay, are you ready for some questions? Yes, sir. All right, jury, over to you. What was the reaction of the first set of customers when you went to them? They were more than happy because it speaks their language in, in the simplest form. So the selling proposition, and that is what I was building up to, is it the voice interaction or is it the wireless? <coughs> what do you think is important to your target customer? More than uh, these two things, the value that they see, value proposition they see because of this device, uh, than wireless or, uh, you know, the IVRS. It just, uh, IVRS and wireless are the means to solve the simple problem 
uh, you know, the, the greatest problem with the simple use of technology and the value proposition they see, you know, if they have to use the manual labor and then the damages to their motors and then waking up whole throughout the night, traveling there in the middle of the night with electric sharks and wild animal uh, dangers that they have to face and risk their life. So they, they see the value proposition of this device is uh, more than the technology and then uh, the wireless. Think volume, the price will come down. Instead of a lack of unit, think 10 million. Yes, I did. So I, I already started talking to the governments and then if you, if you just take the whole country, there are, there are like 50 million pump sets. When, when, when I reach like, you know, more than a million, my price is going to come down uh, to 1,000 rupees. Okay. I promise. <laughs> Do you have a, 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 a vision of the shelf life? of what you're innovating on, which is, you know, if the farmers have more access to, if they can draw those original pumps to their house and operate it from their house itself, if, you know, the general availability of electricity becomes better, how important is your innovation in that respect beyond, you know, the fabulous thing that you've done right now? So, have you even, you have a, almost like a funnel of innovation lined up beyond, you know, this wonderful thing you've done. Because I want a, pa a farmer today uh, uh, to do uh, the uh, agriculture 50 to 100 acres on his own. So I'm going to talk about uh, complete irrigation automation in that case. When power is uh, there, I will reduce the labor to zero literally by wall controlling the walls and then sensing the requirement and all that. So, yeah, there is so much of, uh, uh, you know, requirement of technology which can be implemented. What are the entry barriers you've got for competitors to come in? Because as we know, India is a country of innovators. You we'll normally have somebody uh, innovate something cheaper than what you have put out, uh, steal some of your ideas perhaps. So have you thought about that and how do you... I, 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 I file for patent and apart from that, like, you know, we are doing a lot of R&D in all the uh, sectors, not just the technology. Okay, thank you Vijay. Spectacular. Big round of presentation.